Are you the kind of person that sees someone out walking their golden retriever and rolls their eyes at how basic it is to have that kind of dog? And in fact, maybe you think that owning any kind of dog as a pet is boring. then maybe we have the video for you today. Tired of cats, goldfish, and guinea pigs? Well, we are delving into the world of weird animals that you can legally, well, mostly legally, own as pets. And which will definitely make you stand out in a crowd. From China's most iconic creature to a marsupial that can fly, here's 15 exotic animals you can own as pets. <sighs> Number 15. Panda Dog Pets Okay, so I started off dissing dog owners and the first thing on our list is in fact a dog. But this is no ordinary dog, but a panda dog. And this unusual dog has become the most sought after rare pet in all of China. It is not actually a new breed of dog, but the result of some clever hairstyling and dyeing by pet shop owner Hsin Chen in Chengdu City. <laughs> One of those small Chinese towns that is home to, you know, 15 million people. Mr. Chen says himself, 10 years ago the natural instinct of a Chinese person was to eat a dog. Now we are like Westerners and want one as a companion. He has noticed the shift from Labradors and French Bulldogs to the fluffy panda dog, which in reality is a common Chinese breed known as a Chow Chow. Mr. Chen assures us that there is no cruelty or chemicals involved, and in fact the dogs love the attention and extensive grooming involved. They need to be brought back in every six weeks for a reset, though. The idea has now spread across China, so if you visit and are amazed to see people walking pandas on leashes everywhere, don't worry, it's just a chow chow in disguise. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sugar Glider These cute little marsupials are native to Australia and Indonesia, and have recently become very popular as exotic pets. They look a little like a grey squirrel, only with some black markings. But their most striking attribute is the special membrane, which grows on the sides of their bodies, allowing to glide majestically through the air. They are known to be playful, curious, and friendly pets, but they are not domestic animals, and so need to be handled frequently so they become tame. They also need plenty of gliding space and a pretty specific diet. This is, wait, is this the shy one or the... Yeah, it's the shy one. How do you even tell the difference? So this is not a beginner pet, but they can become fantastic companions once you know how to take care of them properly. Part of this is making sure you get at least two of them, as these are highly social animals and will get lonely without another sugar glider buddy to hang out with. So stock up on tree sap, insects, fruit, and baby birds. Yeah, they eat those. And you might find you've got the perfect pet. And the experts advise carrying your sugar glider buddy around with you all day in a shirt pocket. So so they can sleep and get used to being with you. How cool would that look? Number 13. Pygmy Goats Goats are in fact believed to be the earliest animals ever domesticated by humans, with the first domestic goats appearing as much as 10,000 years ago in Western Asia. They were descended from the wild bazaar ibex, and since then there have been innumerable breeds with all kinds of different traits. But surely the cutest goat breed of all is the pygmy goat, which is said to have originated in West Africa, in what today is Cameroon. They stand around 15 inches tall and are said to be great companions, quite happy to live in all kinds of different climate conditions. Not only are they playful and fun pets, but this breed produces a highly nutritious milk, which I guess you could put on your frosted flakes in the morning. But otherwise, these little goats are known to love human company and are pretty easy to care for, so they can make a great companion 
for the elderly. Goats are not known to be fussy eaters, but they are kind of clean freaks. They don't even permit the five second rule and will not eat anything that has fallen on the floor. So make sure you treat them to a nice feeder or hell, just invite them to sit at the table with you if they're that worried about it. Number 12. Pygmy Marmoset but what if you don't want a pygmy goat and you just want to pull out the most random animal you can think of and have a pygmy of that thing? We've got your back, so let me dig around through the whole animal kingdom and, uh, yep, here we go. Here's your pygmy marmoset. That weird enough for ya? They are among the tiniest primates in the world and are sometimes called finger monkeys. They are native to the rainforests of South America. And when you send the money, that you never get a monkey. But that doesn't mean you can't have one in your suburban home. Well, as long as you live in certain states like Alabama, Nebraska, and South Carolina, where there are no prohibitions on owning a monkey as a pet. But these aren't the easiest of pets to look after, as they require almost constant mental and physical stimulation to stop them from getting cranky and depressed. So a pygmy marmoset might be very cool, but it's a pretty much full-time job looking after one, but if you can manage it, you'll have a 5-inch long pocket monkey to carry around every county of South Carolina, a surefire way to win friends and influence people. Number 11. Skunk most people see a skunk and make a run for it. Skunks have to be one of the least popular animals in the world, according to most people. Even the charming Pepe Le Pew couldn't find love. These North American natives, apart from Pepe, who is pretty obviously French, are best known for their ability to squirt a liquid that will make stink of burning rubber and six-month-old rotten onions for days. This one will actually sit down and eat a bowl of ice cream. <laughs> and this is isn't the kind of trick that has most people thinking, I wonder if I can have one as a pet. But there are skunks bred in captivity, and although controversial, they often have the stink glands surgically removed at birth, meaning you don't have to worry about your house smelling like actual hell if you decide to take one on as a pet. Once that hurdle is surmounted, it turns out that skunks are a fun, intelligent, and cuddly pet. They are also mischievous and require require hours of entertainment every day to stay happy and healthy, so prepare for some hard work with these stripey little guys in your life. They are more than capable of learning how to open cabinets, doors, drawers, and the refrigerators. So you might want to invest in some padlocks unless you want them running riot with your food and laundry. Number 10. Serval. If you want something that's still kind of familiar as a pet, but just with a bit more edge, how about a serval? Well, this might be just the edge lord animal you are looking for. It looks a little like a domestic cat, but this is a true wild hunter. And it's a little more complex than throwing some salmon purina in a bowl for them every morning when it comes to their care. Servals are from the grasslands, which occur south of the Sahara Desert and have been recorded as an exotic pet as far back as the ancient Egyptians, who imported them from distant parts of Africa more than 4,000 years ago. They are lean and have long legs, and usually come in shades of tan or orange with black or dark brown markings. For them to be happy in your home, they need an environment where they can explore, swim, hunt, run, and occasionally climb. These cats are very smart and can easily escape from most enclosures. Their instinct is to run free, and they need a varied diet with lots of different kinds of meat, as well as other things like eggs, cheese, oils, vegetables, and fruits and grass. But they can become attached to their owners and quite affectionate if they are happy and feeling at home. Just don't expect the other regular neighborhood cats to be too pleased to meet your pet serval. Number 9. African Pygmy Hedgehog not had enough pygmy stuff yet? Well, I got news for you. 
Now we're on to pygmy hedgehogs. As if regular hedgehogs weren't cute and small enough, it's now possible to obtain a pygmy version, ramping up the cuteness to almost unbearable levels. They are nocturnal and unlike a porcupine, their spines are more bristly than sharp, and pose no threat to humans at all. When you pick up a hedgehog, it will usually roll into a defensive ball, but if you just allow it to sit in your hand, it will soon get used to the idea of being there, and might begin to unroll itself, which is the first step to your new friendship being formed. Next up is a weird behavior which we don't really understand fully. When a hedgehog encounters a new smell or food, it begins frothing at the mouth and then covers itself with saliva as a kind of self anointment this could also have some defensive or antibacterial properties. In any case, there is now special hedgehog formulated food you can buy in a pet store. Otherwise, high quality cat food supplemented with insects should keep little Sonic happy. Number 8. Anteater From small to surprisingly big now, as we take a look, at the anteater as a possible pet. Back in the 1960s, the famous Spanish surrealist painter Salvador Dali was known for taking his pet anteater for public walks around his home in Paris, even riding the metro with the big South American mammal. If you're wondering what to feed them, then the clue is in its name, of course, but they also eat termites and will spend their days wandering from nest to nest to fill up on their favorite little insects. Some anteaters love to climb trees too. The neighbors are and are also famous for riding around with their babies on their backs. Have you ever seen a baby anteater? They're actually pretty cute and this might just be the encouragement you need to consider one of these as your next pet. You'll be needing plenty of trees and vegetation for climbing and of course as many ants as you can carry. Anteaters have very low body temperatures for a mammal, which means they get heat stroke and get sick easily if it's too hot or too cold. So a nice ambient temperature at all times will keep them happy. Number 7. Fennec Fox The Fennec Fox is also known as the Desert Fox, and these little foxes live in the Sahara as well as other parts of North Africa. And people have been known to take them in as pets, probably due to their huge ears, which are definitely a major cuteness factor in this animal. Their behavior resembles that of a highly energetic small dog, although they are not really the cuddly types, since they are still wild animals and even ones bred in captivity still have the instincts needed to go out and face real nature. They are also often prey animals, so they are easily startled and can be skittish, so you have to be slow and gentle with them most of the time. They're not crazy about being being picked up, but they will enjoy a fun game of fetch from time to time and are quite happy playing and exploring alone as long as they have the space to do so. One thing to bear in mind with fennec foxes is that they are desert animals and will not do well in temperatures that drop below 68 Fahrenheit. So if you're in Alaska and looking into one of these, well, maybe consider a penguin for your choice of exotic pets instead. Number 6. Alligator how about a huge reptile carnivore with massive jaws filled with sharp teeth as your next household pet? What could possibly go wrong? At the very least, if you happen to live in a bad neighborhood, the chances of anyone messing with you will be dramatically reduced if you take your walks with a huge old gator on a leash at your side. That's the upside, but what about the downside? Well, as we mentioned in the beginning, alligators are massive carnivores. They like to lurk and then will pretty much eat anything that is unfortunate enough to get too close, overwhelming it with raw power. They'll go for fish, turtles, small mammals, or birds and even large animals like deer. So if you already have a cat or a dog, introducing them to this new friend could be kind of tricky. Still having a gator as a pet is possible, but you will need a permit and will have to prove you have a space to put them. They can't just chill in your backyard pool. They need proper care, and an enclosure adapted to their needs. But if you want to look truly badass, there's not many pets better than this. Number 5. Possum 
the possum is a common enough marsupial which lives in the Americas, and the species, the Virginia possum, commonly known simply as the possum, is the best known in North America. These animals are considered to be an example of a living fossil, which means they very closely resemble creatures from the distant past. Which we only know of via fossil records. So if you want to know what kinds of creatures were around way back when, about 20 million years ago, then all you need is to take a look at a possum. The word comes from the Powhatan language spoken by the Powhatan people, who once inhabited what is now known as the state of Virginia. Quite often, possums can be found abandoned in the US, and people sometimes take them in and raise them as pets. But you do need a permit to do this, and possums aren't often very good pets. Volunteering as a wildlife rehabilitator and taking some classes will allow you to care for abandoned and injured possums until they are ready to go back into the wild. Number 4. Porcupine Maybe you liked the idea of a pygmy hedgehog, but wanted something a little more insane? Well, how about a full-on porcupine? These large rodents are covered in sharp and pointy spines. Also known as quills, there are two kinds of porcupine, with one living in southern Europe, Asia, and Africa. While the other species lives in North America and northern South America, they are actually not closely related other than both being rodents with some spiky game. The ones you might see in the US are smaller than their old world counterparts and are not strictly nocturnal like that species. They also like to spend a lot of time up in the trees. Of course, the main feature of the porcupine is its ability to leave hundreds of quills in the flesh of anything it feels might be threatening it. And you don't want this to be your curious pet puppy or you in fact, but some species can be tamed and if you learn the ways to handle them, you can have a great relationship with a porcupine with without being quilled. A lot of states have outlawed porcupines as pets, but some states, like New York and Utah, as well as the whole of Canada, allow porcupines as pets. Imagine walking through the streets of New York City, Toronto, or, um, Salt Lake City, with your badass pet porcupine at your side. Number 3. Tarantula now the pet for those who want something that will strike fear into the hearts of about half the people they know. The tarantula. Yes, that's right. There are some people who want a massive hairy spider as a pet. In spite of the fact that arachnophobia is the most common animal phobia in the world, and one of the 10 most common phobias of any kind, it's not for nothing that so many of us seem to have an instinctive fear of eight-legged monsters. A lot of them can be seriously dangerous to human health. In fact, a large number of deaths by spider bite occur when pet owners decide to pick up their bundle of joy while it's having a bad day. So to begin with, you might want to pick one of the non-venomous species of tarantula. These arachnids demand commitment, as they live for around 20 years, and if you get tired of it, you can't just turn it loose into the wild. Seriously, please don't do that. You will also need to provide it with live prey to eat, which means crickets, cockroaches, and grasshoppers. But if it's a big one, the occasional live mouse might need to be dropped in the tank. Number 2. African Land Snail Maybe you want a creepy crawly that's a little less creepy and less crawly. In that case, how about a giant African land snail? These mollusks are certainly unusual pets, but they perhaps are one of the easiest to care for on our list. They are nocturnal and can grow to a huge 8 inches in length. They prefer to live in a glass or plastic aquarium tank, and they have the advantage of being easy to clean, as well as allowing you to see your snail buddy slowly going about his daily business through the glass. They enjoy burrowing, so you can collect up some bark and soak it in water for a day to remove any chemicals before putting it in with some peat-free compost, and voila, a happy little snail or big snail. Their favorite foods include lettuce and cucumber, but they also enjoy apples, bananas, and cabbage. Finally, make sure to throw in a cuttlefish bone, as this provides an important source of calcium, which is vital for the maintenance of those huge shells. Number 1. 
cockroach. Well, you've had a list of weird, exotic animals from all over the world, but how about an animal that there's really no shortage of anywhere? The humble cockroach. Usually considered the favorite pet of people serving life sentences in maximum security prisons, there's no reason you can't take an attitude of, if you can't beat them, join them, to your cockroach infestation. And if anyone dares criticize your home as being dirty due to all the roaches, you can just explain they they are all your pets. Don't forget all their names now. Kind of difficult since these little tanks have their heads covered by their famous outer carcapace. Did you know that roaches can survive microwaving and nuclear war? If you want to train an animal to carry your legacy into the post-apocalypse, starting to feel like it's on the horizon, ain't it? If you're watching in 2020 anyway, there's a few species to choose from, but the most interesting include the Death's Head Cockroach and the Madagascar Hissing Cockroach. Put a leash on your hissing cockroach and and take it down to the dog park. Social success will be yours in a matter of moments. Which of these animals would you want as a weird pet? Have you ever had a cockroach for a buddy well in jail? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.